Ah, oh, hello everybody. First off, excuse me if you get a dog or cat in the screen. We are at my house. <laughs> anyway, well, first of all, not these today. Fish vision. Old man vision. I want to talk a little bit about baits today. I was doing a little fishing yesterday and it was really fun. Um, it's cold weather. Everything's a little different. You guys know that as well. I was going to show a couple things that's been working for me recently in the cold weather. Stuff also works in the, any time of the year. <clears throat> My mainstays are usually these chatter frogs, which is wonderful bait. It's name brand. I hate to use one. And they're so changeable. You can do so much with them. And a, a jerky jig, it's the same thing. Uh, pretty much it's the same style. It's got a spoon on the front, which is adjustable, which is what I really love about it. And you can change these things into a hundred things. I mean, when you buy them, they come with little skirts to change them. And uh, I'll tell you what, they're very versatile, and the fish love them. I catch so many fish with these things. And you can change them up all with the little bend of your of your needle nose or your deep hooker. You know, you can get a little depth by turning your fin forward, you know, or up or down changes your depth of water. I mean, it's just basic uh, hydronics. But anyway, these things come in a wide variety of styles from the large shiny heads, and you can change them up so easy with something as simple as nail polish with glitter in it. And this comes in several colors. I just have silver with me right here right now. Uh, and also for the different water types, like I said, yellow works really good here, and you can change these things from a minnow to a frog. I'm a huge fan of plastics, as you know. Uh, you can adjust the tails to hold, uh, these are zooms, flukes, which is a minnow looking uh, creature, and all kinds of different plastics to give it all a different look, depending on what you're fishing and where. And like I said, uh, I have grubs of these Kalins, are really good. And you can turn just this nose into the most incredible little lure and change it up. They actually come with fake frog legs, but as we know, frogs are gone right now and there's no way, except for the old retard bass that once in a while to hit them, in my experience. Here where I'm at, of course, every water's different. You know? And it's a simple, quick change out to keep, the, to keep them working fine. And I really love the nose design on this. It paddles from side to side. See, man, it looks like this jig, this grub was made for this lure. And like I said, they're so versatile. You can put a worm on here when the action's a little slower and you need to get a smaller lure. Slowing down the speed is the main thing. Uh, I love this little baby too. It looks like it's trailing a little fish and the bass just absolutely love it. Uh, I, the same thing <clears throat> with these spinners. I really, really like all of these. Because you can do so much with them. They're, but they're, it's the same thing. You don't have to just use them like they come out of the palace. The boys at the bait company, they do a fantastic job. But you know what works in your water, everybody does. You know what catches fish. And you can change your stuff for different looks. Like I said, I like to put a little trailer on here. Everybody does that. Like I said, this <clears throat> here is one that I love to use in the river. The Guadalupe's like it's a little smaller. And I put different colored trailers on this one also. And I'll show you what I was talking about with this, how simple it is. Uh, this black one works fine, the black spoon. But I find in the winter the shiny colors are a little better. And the neat thing is you can just take some fingernail polish remover and remove the coloring later on so you don't have to get rid of the bait. And uh, anybody who's ever did nails, not that the gorilla ever does nails, knows how simple this is. And uh, I'm just going to do one side because you need to let it dry for a little bit and then do the other one. Or you can actually leave it on one side where it's got a flash. It's all up to you. And you can change just a plain little lure into something a little more special. It helps with the recycling too, you keep them nice and clean. Uh, same thing with jigs, you can change them all up. This one here has a rattle built in it and really shiny eyes, it's heavy. The fish are deeper right now. You know, football head jig, same way, has a nice hook guard on it so you can pull it through your heavy brush, get it up to the depth where you're working it. You can change this from a plain Jane to a killer with a little trailer. Uh, and that's why the gorilla just absolutely loves plastics. And how you hook these, you'd be surprised how many different examples you can come up with by just working with it a little bit. And as you can see, that just adds a lot of body and feel to the weight. And you can see it when you put it in the water, the different actions you can get out of these. Don't be afraid of it. Move it around right in front of you and give it a good look to what it's doing. 
You know, we're until it as live as possible. I, I took it on top water also. It's one of my favorite lures, by the way, pop bar. And uh, you can use the same materials to keep these up and striking. Just touch up the little beat up spots, especially a good lure like that that gets beat up all the time. That, that's what the main point I was trying to make across with this. You can make some baits that are just unstoppable. So a little thing like this worm right here is really a killer. It's good for this time of the year. Um, I love these chick, uh, these uh, shaky worm heads, what they're called. Basically what it is is a slip shot with a U on it, on a worm hook. And this works with all your different plastics where you're at. What you do is you get a different action. I'm a big fan. And you can take the plain jam with, like I said, this little thing like uh, fingernail polish and it had a glitter coat so quick. It's so quick and easy. The difference between a wall hanger and just a little bass is detailed sometimes. All the time. Any of the pros, that's what they, that's what they show. And we're working on being the pro of pros. Anyway. You can rig these babies up so many different ways. It's really, really amazing. It's one of the most versatile lures out there. These lures are really good at this time of the year because you can change the speed on them and get them to your different depths. Like I said, these paddle nose lures, you can also adjust the spoon in the front to get a better wiggle and a better shake out of them and get them to the altitude or the depth change to what you're trying to fish for. And you know once you've thrown a couple times where the fish are at. Like I said, it depends if I'm in the creek, the river, or the lake. And it's also the time of year. That's why plastics are my favorite. Boy, I'm ready to break out something like these big babies later in the spring. It's a little early for that now, but that's not the point I was trying to get to you today. These are my winter baits. I can carry this little pack on me, put on the waders, and back in the back I am. Uh, this one caught about five fish yesterday. It's just amazing. The fish love it. You can change the trailers out. Like I said, it's a seasonal bait. Uh, they come from the factory with these skirts like this that you can add and change them from frog to bug and use your imagination you look at it and think well that really looks great in the water that would look great with this you know this a bag of crawls little fake crawdads it's one of my favorite baits you know just a quick tug and it's a backwards running trailer you know of course I would put a skirt on this and this is one of my favorite because it's also a rattle you have a rattle in there it's got a I plug the back up with a little BB to make my own Anyway, as you can see, you don't have to just be stuck with the stuff they give you at the factory. You can always make the stuff better or save a little bit. Either way, it's fun to get in there. You feel hands-on. When you're stuck inside like today, it's really cold out there. It gives you time to work on your tackle and get ready for the spring. It's very important to go through it and make sure all your hooks are sharp. You don't have the old rust. Throw out the stuff that's no good. Stuff's been sitting in the garage since last season. You want to get it out and go through it real good. It'll help. So you don't miss the big one when you got over there just because of some hook issues. Now, these guys here say I should just hang up and go fish, but I say get up, get out, and go fish. Cut.